financial accounting. We've been talking about the accounting equation and I'd like to delve a little bit more into each part of the accounting equation. The first part is called the assets and remember we've talked about the assets as being the resources of the business. In other words, it's the stuff you have to make a difference. A nicer term for it is something that has a future for potential value. So what I'm talking about here is, for example, food in your refrigerator is an asset because doesn't it have future or potential value for you? Yeah, you could eat it, doesn't it? So if that's the case, when I look at a business um, or as an individual counting up their assets, what kinds of things will I find? So let's look at some of the accounts or the types of assets that you might find in this course. Well, the first one you'll find is cash or money. Cash, you know, is my favorite four-letter word. We'll also find something called supplies. Supplies are like paper, pencils, uh, ink cartridges, those types of things that you use or consume in your business. Now they are supplies before you start using them. So in other words, this marker, because it still has its cap on and I haven't opened it yet, is a supply. As soon as I start using it, it becomes something else. More on that later. You can also have prepaids. Prepaids are things that you have to pay for in advance before you use them. Things like prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance. When do you have to pay for your car insurance? Before you start driving, don't you? Otherwise, you're an uninsured motorist, aren't you? So, prepaid insurance, you've paid for your insurance policy before you started driving. What if you paid for your rent before it was due? It would be prepaid rent, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, other things. Inventory. Now, inventory is when you buy stuff and you put price tags on it and you invite customers in to buy it from you. So inventory is like a store, all the um, things on the shelf, sometimes known as merchandise inventory, because it all has price tags on it and you're invited in to buy it. Now, what's the difference between inventory and supplies if, say, I am um, Office Max or um, Office Depot? Well, the difference is this. Supplies are used inside the business, so that's for internal use only. Inventory has price tags on it and the customers buy the inventory. Okay? Now, there's another one that you've got to be aware of. What about things like land, building, if I, well I was going to abbreviate building, but I'll spell it out, building, autos, equipment, I abbreviated. These are long-lived assets, but they're still assets, aren't they? That don't they have future potential value? Wouldn't you say your car is, is something that gives you much value? You're right. Also bicycles. Uh, now, there's one last one that we want to talk about as far as assets are concerned. And it's called accounts receivable. And accounts receivable is when other people owe you money. So, for example, you go out and you uh, played cards last night, and you played cards with a bunch of people who had no money, but they made a lot of promises to you like, oh, yes, I give you an IOU, I will pay you back. Accounts receivable means that you're holding all those pieces of paper that say they promise to pay you. Now, if I'm a company, my accounts receivable are generally credit card um, receipts because folks have used their credit card instead of giving me cash. So in the future, do I expect to be paid for that account receivable, that promise? And I do. So that's a bit on 